I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon netcast. And it's Memorial Day, so happy Memorial Day, and thank you to all of the servicemen that have uh, helped keep us free in this country. I tell you, we don't thank them enough, and, and if you see one out on the street in uniform, just go up to them and say, you know, thanks for your service. I appreciate it. It'll mean a lot to them. Now, I never got to serve my country in that regard in the military. Uh, I was kind of in between all of that time, uh, you know, kind of missed Vietnam. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm kind of that old. But anyway, but, uh, you know, and, and was too old for all the other uh, service and so forth. But I really appreciate those that have served our country in the military. So, Memorial Day. Awesome. Also, folks are off work, like me. I am off work today. This is Memorial Day as I record this. A Monday, and yet I am off work. That's a good thing. I like it. So anyway, I thought I would uh, do the program a little late because I've been enjoying my Memorial Day weekend time off, you know, and just relaxing and doing a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> I mean a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, sleeping, napping, reading, watching TV, watching really dumb movies. Watched a movie called Rango. Uh, it was okay. Eh, you know, not one I'd have gone to the theater to see, but I saw it on Netflix. You know, pretty cool. Anyway, been that kind of weekend. So, uh, oh, before I forget, however, let me mention that we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon. And, of course, you know that. We are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, and they do some amazingly cool things. And there's a lot of great shows out there on techpodcast.com. So go check them out. You will be amazed. Yes. All right, let's look at the blog, shall we? The blog, of course, is drbill.tv, D-R-B-I-L-L.tv. And uh, the first item we're going to look at after the last netcast is that the Google Chrome browser is now the most used internet browser in the world. Dude. Now, to me, that's just amazingly cool news because that means the Internet Explorer <laughs> took a dive. Yes. This is the first continuous week of Chrome being the largest, most used browser in the world. And, uh, you know, it's kind of bumped up occasionally for brief periods, but a full week of it being number one. Now, it is still not number one in North America. Okay, we're talking the whole world. So you folks in North America, get with it. <laughs> get your Chrome browser. <clears throat> Chrome browser. Hard to say when you're mostly napping. <laughs> anyway. I told you, it's been a napping kind of weekend. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> plus, <clears throat> I had to clear my throat. So, uh, Linux kernel 3.4 has been released. Linus Torvalds, you know that we pronounce it that way because that's how he pronounces it, as in this recording. Hello, this is Linus Torvalds, and I pronounce Linux as Linux. Yes, he pronounces Linux Linux. <laughs> Linus Torvalds. Anyway, Linus, we call him Linus Torvalds. Linus released the new Linux kernel, which is 3.4. And he said of it, after another seven release candidates, uh, well, no, no, what did he say about it? Let's see. Here we go. Nothing really exciting happened since RC7. Although the workaround for a linker bug on the x86 is larger than I'd have liked at this stage and sticks out like a sore thumb in the diff stat. That said, it's not even that patch that really uh, was all that scary. 
In fact, I think the 3-4 release cycle as a whole has been fairly calm. Sure, I always wish for the RCs to calm down more quickly. That's release candidates. Than they ever seem to do. But I think on the whole we didn't have any big disruptive events, which is just how I like it. Let's hope the 3-5 merge window is a calm one too. Yes. So, he announced it. And I think it is an awesome, it's going to be an awesome release. I'm, I, you got to get excited about Linux releases because I use Linux all the time. Speaking of using things all the time, you need to use GoToMeeting. GoToMeeting with HD Faces. Now, what's HD Faces? Well, I am looking right now into an HD webcam. It's a Microsoft LifeCam Studio. And this HD webcam gives the full 16 by 9 aspect ratio that people like in video. So, this HD webcam can be used with GoToMeeting with HD Faces, and you can have HD meetings right across the interwebs and actually be able to collaborate and share and just have your meetings without having to travel all across the country and rack up tons of expenses. And you can do it for right now if you'll sign up using this special code word podcast you can get it for 30 days free. You can try it, kind of kick the tires, so to speak, and you will be amazed at what GoToMeeting will do for you. So try it. Do it now. Go ahead and click through. You can pause the, the netcast briefly and go do it and then come right back. But be sure to use the code word PODCAST. All right? Good deal. Now, whoa! Whoa! Whoa, right after our sponsor, the Geek Software of the Week pops up all of a sudden and tells me that it is indeed, in fact, time for the Geek Software of the Week. And the Geek Software of the Week this week is interesting. It's a little different. <clears throat> there goes my throat clearing again. <clears throat> Perhaps I should have had a drink of water before I started the program. <laughs> anyway, so what you need to do is if you use the WordPress software, WordPress, of course, is what I use to run the blog, drbill.tv. WordPress is the, you might say, the framework upon which I use the blog. Well, <clears throat> WordPress, <clears throat> boy, this throat clearing thing is really getting annoying. <laughs> WordPress allows you to have plugins. Yes. Plugins are cool things that people write for free that you can put into WordPress and use all the features and functionality that people can build into the software. Well, this, this particular Geek Software of the Week is a plugin for WordPress called What's Up? What's Up? <laughs> all right. That's the name of it. I didn't make it up. It's W A S S U P! Exclamation point. What's Up? <laughs> Anyway, so the reason it's called What's Up, or What's Up, What's Up, is that it allows you to see what's happening on the blog in terms of visitors. People who are using your blog, they're reading things, they're checking things out, what are they doing? It just gives you all kinds of cool Ajaxy, you know, cool looking graphical uh, analytics to see what's going on on your blog, which is really cool. So check that out. I like it. I put it on all of my blogs that I have, you know, WordPress type websites, and it's really helping to see what people are doing. You can even see what the robots are doing, you know, the, the ones that go out there and surf your site for the search engines. That's pretty cool too. So you can see pretty much what's going on on your blog and find out what's up. <laughs> okay, anyway. <clears throat> All right, the SpaceX launch was successful. I have a video of the launch on the website. Not only was it successful, but they successfully docked with the International Space Station. That is so cool, dude. So I was really excited about that. I know several of you uh, sent me emails saying, yeah, Dr. Bill, I'm really down with SpaceX and what they're doing in terms of commercial space flight, which is cool stuff. Okay. Let's move along here. It's a holiday weekend, and we all want to get back to our holidaying. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, here's the next item. Own Cloud. 
That's OWN Cloud. And it, as the name implies, you can have your own cloud drive. That's right, you can have your own Dropbox. If you have a web server, as I do, you can actually host your own cloud, your own Dropbox-like cloud, uh, on your server. Okay, it's pretty cool. It's a flexible open source file sync and share solution. Whether using a mobile device, a workstation, or a web client, own cloud provides the ability to put the right files at the employee's fingertips. So in other words, businesses, small businesses even, can have their own totally secure file sharing kind of area out in the cloud. But it's your own cloud. That's the name. That's pretty cool. So... Uh, and they have clients for all these different uh, devices. You know, like I said, mobile devices and so forth. So, pretty neat stuff. You ought to check it out. I didn't make it a Geek, geek Software Week. I made it more just a regular article because, well, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, Fred's probably going, of course he doesn't. <laughs> gotcha, Fred. <laughs> anyway. All right, next item. <laughs> Yes, they are serious. Interstellar flight within a hundred years. Dude. Now, this is not some weird fly-by-night, odd, you know, bunch of hippies sitting around going, Yeah, man, hundred years we're going to be on another planet <laughs> in another star system. No, no, no. These are people that are serious enough that they were actually funded by DARPA. You know DARPA, the Defense Department's research arm? The folks that created the Internet in the first place? Dude! And, of course, DARPA has been funding lots of things. Like, uh, well, not you know, fairly recently, they funded a uh, quest to, to have a vehicle get over 100 miles to the gallon. So, I mean, you know, they're doing some amazing stuff in terms of funding research and so forth. Well, they put some money into this project, the 100-Year Space Flight Program. You say, what's a 100-year space flight program? It's going to take 100 years to get somewhere? No, they're saying that within 100 years from now, so that would be like 2112, the year 2112, between now and then, we're going to have true interstellar spacecraft. Now, interstellar means between stars. So that means you could go from here to Proxima Centauri in a reasonable period of time. That would kind of imply warp drive. You know what I'm saying? So they're working on that. They've, it's been funded by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, and others are all coming together for what they're calling the 100YSS, the 100Y Starship Project. Cool! So who knows? It may be the actual beginning of the Enterprise. Ha <laughs> ha! I love it. Okay. Next item is interesting. Yahoo has a new browser called Axis. Now, I am not a Yahoo fan. <laughs> I don't use Yahoo. I think it's kind of like a third-class citizen among the search engines. Sorry, that's just my opinion. But this browser is actually interesting. If you check out the video that's on the website, drbill.tv, go check it out. It is a demo of the Axis browser. And I gotta admit, it's pretty cool. I, who would have thought, you know? But at any rate, uh, it's, it's really more of a plug-in for a regular PC-type browser. But for mobile devices, it's a full-blown browser. Uh, it's based on the... Uh, What's it called? The Web... WebKit. Thank you. Good old Fred. What, what would we do without Fred reminding me of these things? Anyway, WebKit, yes. And, uh, you know, which is just kind of a generic framework for creating browsers. So it's not like super new technology, but what is new and what is different is the way they use the graphical side to uh, make it more... It's prettier. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. All right. Now, this last item here is just a... It's a mea culpa. Okay. I made a mistake. Last netcast, when I posted it, I somehow typed in the wrong video name when I posted it in PowerPress, which is the WordPress plugin that we use for 
uh, posting the netcast on the website. And so you might have gone and clicked on it and gone, wait a minute, that's not netcast number 248, or 240, it's number 238. And you'd have been right. It was the wrong one. So that's been corrected. Okay. This, of course, is netcast number 241, and I will make sure that it's the right netcast on the website. <laughs> oh, well. By the way, no uh, Game Master segment this week, and the program is shorter because it's Memorial Day. And I'm going to go back to napping and reading and just generally being lazy. By the way, it's really hot out there. You know, they're calling for it to be in the 90s. Yeesh. So, good day to stay in the air conditioning, take it easy, and maybe watch some old Star Trek. Did that too. <laughs> Probably will do more. So, remember, as I always say, until next time, the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.